Sometime last week, Adobe Flash version 10.2 for Android released, so I thought I'd show you the upgrade process here on the Droid X and some of the performance differences when trying to play Flash content. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so as you probably know by now, the Droid X does come with Flash 10.1 out of the box. So if I go ahead and open up the browser, I went ahead and pulled up the Flash on the uh, This Week in Linux YouTube page earlier. Let's just, oops, it's already playing there. So if I scroll up to the top, sorry, notifications fighting me. There we go, and just hit refresh. We'll reload the page real quick and we'll just see how it performs straight out of the box. And this is a rooted device, but I haven't actually done anything to improve performance in terms of CPU scaling or anything like that. It's Saturday, March 19th, 2011, and you're watching This Week in Linux News. All right, so you can see there it is play, playing. It's a little bit jerky, but it does definitely work. It's doing it at the lowest resolution, or at least the closest. It's the 360p, so it is, it's viewable. It's not high quality, high definition or anything, but it is watchable. So we'll go ahead and pause that, and we'll exit the browser. We'll go into the marketplace, which is where the update should be found if you have the market on your device. And here at the top, you see we have Flash Player. Go ahead and say Update, and then OK. And then the Flash Player 10.2. 10.2.156.12 will replace 10.1. Sure, sounds like a plan. It is a 4.24 megabyte update, so if you have slower internet connection, it might take a little while. I'm hopefully running on about 20 megs a second, so it shouldn't be a big deal here. Okay, and just a little bit later, we are installed. So we can go ahead and I'll clear out that notification just because I don't care for notifications myself. Open back up the player. We'll just tell it to stop and reload the page. Come back here and reload. And let's just see if it performs any differently, any better, any worse, anything like that. So we'll scroll on down, and this is exactly the same way we did it the last time. It's pre-cached content, so it's not like it's anything new. So far, no major difference. It does look like it's playing a little bit more smoothly. We're going to do things a little bit differently this week. Instead of just doing the straight through news, I'm going to go ahead and put annotations in the It almost seems like the uh, audio might be a little bit out of sync. I don't know if that's just my device or the fact I might need to reboot it, but uh, I tell you what, I will do a, a quick device reboot and we'll see if it makes any difference. But other than that, yeah, I would try to put it in a higher quality mode, but the YouTube buttons down here don't seem to be working. At least they didn't with the, uh, the older version, and they, yeah, they still flash off if I hit the button. Yeah, it just immediately flashes off no matter what I do. So, let me restart the device, and I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, and after just a couple of minutes, we are back and ready to try again. This is a freshly booted up device, and I have waited a couple of minutes so that everything can finish loading. If I go ahead and hit go now, I would already pulled up the page just to get there, and we're just reloading at this point. Scroll down, see what happens. Still loading. Really hate that bar in the background on YouTube, but little I can do about it at this point. Zoom in on it. It's Saturday, March 19th, 2011, and you're watching This Week in Linux News. Well, the video is definitely a lot less jerky than it was on 10.1. And it looks a little bit out of sync on the camera, but on the device itself, it's a whole lot closer than it was. But it is definitely still out of sync. 
So I'm curious, are you having these same sorts of uh, issues using 10.2 on your uh, Android-based device? If so, let me know in a comment below. If you're not, let me know again in a comment below. I'm just curious to see if this is just me, if it's something to do with the, the Droid X in particular, if it's something I'm doing wrong, if maybe I need to just uninstall and reinstall the update. I don't know. Let me know how Adobe Flash 10.2 is working for you on your Android-based device. But that's about all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.